It is often the case when modeling that you may want to use the same feature across several part models in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to show you a few different techniques which allow you to copy features between models, speeding up your working process in the software. So the first technique is for physically copying features and we can do this when we have two parts open at the same time. I want to copy a whole pattern across between the parts I have open. And the first step is to position both models alongside one another. We can do this by going to the window menu at the top and choosing the option to tile vertically. In this example, I'm going to copy the series of holes over to the model on the right. We can do this by holding down the control key and dragging the feature over to our model on the right hand side. As you drag over flat faces in your model, you will see the feature orientate with those faces. When you drop the item, you may get a message prompting you to decide what to do about the sketch relations now in your model, which reference the original location. You can either delete them or you can leave them dangling in order to reconnect them to something else later. In this example, I'm going to delete them. All we need to do now to complete the process is to edit our sketch in order to fully define it. We can do this quite simply with a couple of sketch relations and a few dimensions. You may find that you're unable to copy some features between models. The vent at the top of our original design is a good example. It maintains too many relations back to the original design and won't allow us to copy it between parts. If you find this is the case, you can sometimes work around the issue by copying just the sketch and then adding the feature again later. If you're looking to copy the same feature to numerous models, or if you want to copy a group of features together, you may want to think about saving the feature away into the SOLIDWORKS design library. This is a great way to replicate features, but it does require a little bit of setup, as when you drop a design library feature into a model, it will prompt you for the references it needs in order to become defined, as shown in this example. You can check out our YouTube channel if you want to see how to set up a design library feature with all of its references. However, if you just like to create a simplified design library feature, with no references. You can do this by control copying, as shown before, your feature into another part. I'd recommend you copy it into a simplified block model for this case. When we drag the item in, choose the option to delete references, but this time do not edit the feature to replace them. What this will leave you with is a simple feature with little or no external references. You can then save this item into the design library so you can use it across several designs within the software. Open up the design library and pin it open. And once you have done this, you can drag your feature from the tree in SOLIDWORKS straight into the folders in the library. You'll then be prompted to give the item a name and save it as a library feature part. Once you've done this, you'll see the feature available for you to drag into any model and all you need is a flat face to drag it onto. So there we have it, that's a few different processes which will allow you to replicate features between models. We'd like to take a few moments to tell you about our company. Innova Systems are a UK based authorised reseller for SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD software. We provide the highest quality technical support and training courses to over a thousand of our customers. Buying from us doesn't just mean a box of software, you also get the backup of our multi-award winning technical support team. Innova have been voted number one for customer satisfaction for the last four years running. We are a company driven by the continued success of our customers. If you're interested in knowing more about SOLIDWORKS or the services we provide, please get in contact with us.